Hi, this is Bethany Marshall, and today I'm speaking with our author, Victoria Minninger. And Victoria is the author of Daring to Fight, When Grit, Grace, and Faith Take Depression Head On. Hi, Victoria. How are you today? Good. How are you, Bethany? So good to be here. Uh, thanks so much for joining me to talk about your new book release. We're so excited about it here at Morgan James Publishing and excited for this book to get into the hands of readers who can, can use the message that you share um, in these pages. So um, I'd love to ask you some questions about your new book um, and, and um, about your background and, um, and why you wrote um, such an important book. So first of all, could you uh, lay the groundwork for us today? about what Daring to Fight is about? Yeah, absolutely. So Daring to Fight really um, came out of my own journey uh, through clinical depression a couple of years ago. And so um, as I was, I was in the middle of leading some depression support groups um, at my congregation um, for about a year or so. And as I met with those folks um, and shared my own story, just found that there was people that were just hungry for knowing how did I kind of travel through that season um, and stuff. And so it was kind of born out of out of a need that I saw in front of me and um, and just knowing that I wanted to take and be able to, to, to take a difficult season that I had gone through and um, that just didn't seem like it was all that great and really turn it into something uh, for good and to be able to help other people because so many people have traveled or are traveling through depression. And so, you know, being able to share my story from that perspective and even just what are the things that I did to kind of move to the other side of that to become healthy. Mm, wow. Um, so um, could, you, could you talk a little bit about um, why you decided to actually write a book and publish a book about it. So, um, and, and, and the book talks about, uh, about your journey. Um, mm -hmm. and, and you mentioned just there that, um, this part, the, the writing the book was kind of part of, of that, of that, of that process. But, um, could you talk a little bit about the moment or, you know, what, what made you decide to actually move forward and turn it into a book? Yeah, because I honestly, I'd never set out to write a book. I'll be honest, they didn't. I had um, never really aspired to do that. But um, sometimes when a need presents itself, it's, it's you kind of just take the next steps, you follow the breadcrumbs. And so, like I mentioned just before, I was leading this group and um, one day this lady walks up to me and she said, would you just please write all of that down? I need you to just write this thing down because she was trying to take notes and all of that. And so I started thinking about that because I was struggling to find curriculum that really fit the group that I was working with. Um, and so I actually first sat down and thought, well, I'll just write a curriculum. I'll just kind of map it out a little bit and print it and it'll be fine. But as I did that, I realized that it was really hard to do that and share my story at the same time. And so it slowly became a book so that I could share the, the larger story, the background behind um, my own journey, my own battle with depression, and then even how I walk that out. And so, so that's kind of where it started. And then I had friends that just really kept championing me forward and just said, Victoria, there's a book in there. So keep writing because, you know, the writing process is difficult at times. And so um, and or sometimes when you're dealing with a difficult subject, it can be hard to keep moving along. Um, but really, I wrote it because um, because there was a need and, and because I wanted to turn some of that into something good, I guess. Wow. So could you talk a little bit about who you wrote Daring to Fight for? Yeah. So I wrote it a lot for, well, anyone struggling through depression. It's not just one um, type of person or anything like that, because we know depression is no respecter of person. So it affects um, any age, it affects um, any any race, it doesn't really care what kind of job you have or what kind of car you drive or anything. So it's, it's for um, everyday people that are just going through um, the ups and downs of life, you know, and so I, I think that anyone that is struggling through depression or anxiety um, really could benefit from it. Mm. Incredible. It's amazing to me that you took the experiences from your own life and, you know, used writing as a tool to, to mm -hmm. process some of that, but then also went through the effort of turning that into a book 
for someone else who may really need, um, you know, that, that, that guidance in their own life, as you said, as they're navigating the ups and downs of life with anxiety or depression. Um, and in today's world, um, you know, that's, it's very prominent and, um, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's not easy for people to, to talk about and to be able to have access to, uh, to a book, uh, with somebody's real authentic journey and story told, uh, could be really powerful. Um, I'm going to ask one more question, um, about, you know, how might somebody, um, you know, know that they may be struggling with depression, um, and, and know that this, this resource might be a book. Is there anything that you could share from, you know, your experience, um, either, you know, from, from dealing with it personally or leading these groups about someone, you know, some, some, some warning signs or some identifiers that people might be able to recognize, um, and know that this might be a book that, you know, they may need to read and, and explore more. Yeah, sure. I mean, and depression itself affects people in different ways. And so not everybody's symptoms or signs are going to be quite the same. But some of the things that that we see kind of across the board a little bit is, is ongoing um, sadness that just prolongs past a couple of weeks. So sometimes we have sadness in our lives, but it kind of, we kind of buoy back after that. Um, or they've gone through a, you might have gone through a hard stretch and, and really just struggling to be interested in life, but it might subside after just a short amount of time. But it's, there's times when those things would, where you kind of lose interest in life, lose interest in the things around you, um, where that doesn't kind of go away, where there's just this ongoing weight or sadness that you might feel for weeks and weeks upon time and uh, that sort of thing. Sometimes like for me, my one of mine was deep anger. Like I just had a lot of anger inside of me and didn't even realize it. Like I'd get easily angered where that normally is not my personality. Um, and as I worked with my counselor later, realized that that was actually kind of a symptom of my depression. So some people deal kind of with some, you know, unresolved anger in them for different reasons and that sort of thing. But um, if you experience anything like that or just um, just really struggling to get w back in life or you find that you're you know wanting to just stay in bed all the time or you're just crying at the drop of a hat and you don't know why, you know, I think it's always wise to kind of explore that a little bit and say, you know, could I be struggling with that? Because like I said, it, it affects every um, kind of person, you know, and um, even if you, look like you have it all together. I mean, I was one of those people that looked like I had it all together and yet underneath the surface, this stuff was going on. Yeah. Well, and um, so obviously um, so much uh, involved in this book and in the title, I just want to comment, um, you know, daring to fight when grit, grace, and faith take depression head on. So even that subtitle just tells a little bit about uh, the mindset that you had going through uh, through your journey with, with that mm -hmm. grit grit, grace, and, and faith. So, um, Victoria, we're so, uh, so proud of you and so proud of this book and, um, and, and all of the, the work that you've done uh, to share your story. And I know a lot of people are going to want to uh, learn more about you and about your work. And um, is there a best place for people to find more information or be able to connect with you online if they want to reach out to you? Sure, absolutely. So over on my website, it's uh, really easy. It's just my name, victoriaminninger.com. And there people can contact me directly through email or they can find my uh, links to my Facebook page and Instagram because I'm over on Instagram too under my name as well. And so I'm usually quite active on those places. So, so that's kind of the best place to find me all in one spot is over on my website. Amazing. Well, Victoria, <laughs> thank you so much and congratulations on the launch of your new book. Thank you, Bethany. I appreciate it.